Joe Lewis with Charles Atlas, right outside uh, Madame Bay's house. Most people don't equate Chatham Township with boxing legends. That's Ken Overland and uh, Henry Armstrong, the only person to hold three simultaneous titles at one time. Well, uh, I went to the camp back in the mid-60s when I was like six, seven years old. So that's when I first found uh, out about it. Uh, it was called Ace Hans Training Camp back then because he took it over from Madam Bay when she passed away. But the township was home for a time to some of the most famous boxers, such as Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Floyd Patterson, Hurricane Carter, and James Cinderella Man Braddock, and many more. Max Schmeling came over to this country, and even though he held uh, European titles in both the light heavyweight and the heavyweight categories, uh, they were dismissive of him over here, and he had broken his hand in the last fight. And he first stayed in New York, in New York, but he quickly ran out of money, him and his manager. And he came over to Madame Bay's one day, and he wanted to stay at the camp, but he told her that he didn't have any money. And Madame Bay told him, stay, stay, I'll pay for it. And uh, she also sent him to one of the best sports doctors over in New York and paid for him to fix his hand. The outdoor ring was where everybody came to watch the fights. For many years, a woman by the name of Madame Bay ran a boxing camp for world champion boxers at 516 River Road. She had 12 heavyweight champions there and no fewer than 78 International Boxing Hall of Fame inductees. The first boxer to settle in Chatham Township was lightweight champion Freddie Welsh. His camp wasn't doing well and he uh, went into the army and he needed somebody to take over his camp. So he asked Madame Bay to come take it over while he was in service. Within a few months, she was making a success of a business that he could not make a success of. Did you take your type Local author Jean Pantalone documents her story in his first book, Madame Bay's Home to Boxing Legends. They had an argument over a fighter that was staying there, a former light heavyweight champ by the name of Battling Sicky. And uh, Freddie Welsh wanted him out, and all the other fighters said, we see no problem with him. So instead of uh, kicking this boxer out, every boxer that she had there uh, walked the one mile down River Road to her place. And the uh, only problem was her camp, her her uh, place didn't have any boxing facilities, and the boxers themselves actually built the camp. He said over the years, he thought about the camp and decided to research it and write a book. Now you're an accomplished author, huh? I'm an author, I don't know about accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> and I was told that there's like 10,000 books printed every month. That's how her house looked. It even says base training camp. Just probably taken in the 30s. It's easy to miss the Chatham Township historical marker erected on River Road near the fire station. But if anyone cares to slow down, pull over, and take a look, they will learn it is the site of Bay's Boxing Camp, where the most renowned boxers of their time trained at a camp by a Chatham Township resident. That's the first fighter that came to Adam Bay's camp. His name was Johnny Wilson, and he was a middleweight champion. And uh, Adam Bay said that nobody came for for months and thought that Freddie Welsh was right, that couldn't make anything of the business. But then she said that 11 fighters descended on me at once. Before I knew it, I was right in the midst of a lot of young men who made a living by knocking others for what they called a loop, and I found I enjoyed it. For more information about getting the book, please go to Amazon.com. Or you can go to Facebook and search for Madame Bay colon Fame Boxing Camp.